And these are my good friends, the Merry Men. <laughs> and as for the first question... <gasps> Care for some fresh squeezed lemonade? The best in Sherwood Forest! Only a farthing per cup! Um, perhaps you'd enjoy a round of golf. May I put you down as a twosome? Excuse me? Ballroom dancing? Four lessons, four shillings. How about an overpriced candy bar? There's a coupon for pizza inside the wrapper. You're... you're not thieves! By all means, no. This is Little John, Big Red, Bill Scarlet, and Friar Cluck. We fundraise from the rich and give to the poor. Rich? Well, I wouldn't say we're rich, would you? No. After all, we're walking through Sherwood Forest. I don't even have a moat. Can one be rich without a moat? <laughs> it really is a good cause. Give till it hurts. Well, maybe I will have a touch of lemonade. It's for the kids. One does get thirsty when one travels. We really would love to do more to help. But you know, with the economy these days... Ah, that's true. Times are as tough as Granny's shoe leather. It's so bad I lost my job at the unemployment office. Ah, delicious. Keep up the good work. Watch out for giants. Pathetic. How many can we afford now, Little John? Ah, uh, uh, counting that? Um, one. Well, boys, one is better than none. Let's go buy a ham. <laughs> Happy birthday, little Nate. Woohoo, birthday ham. And a real one to boot. Thought I was going to have to carve you one out of wood again. Oh, thank you, Mr. Good, Merry Men. You're welcome, Miss Lewis. Times have been tough and we've been hurting. But, like I always tell my children, never trust a plastic hippo. No, not that. The other thing. There's no hurt too big for God. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Ah. Uh... Oh, Sheriff, what brings you here? Maybe the party pooper express? <laughs> I hate to do this, Miss Lewis, but I'm gonna have to ask you for that ham. What? <laughs> I'm very sorry. Prince John's orders. You haven't paid your ham tax since last year. I haven't had a ham since last year. You can't take the lady's ham. What kind of sheriff are you to purloin her pork chops? I... I... <sighs> there's nothing I can do. I really am sorry. It's not fair. She has so little. Uh, look, you'll have to take it up with Prince John. I'm under orders. Some days it just doesn't pay to come into work. Did that just happen? Yep, that just happened. I'm sorry, Miss Lewis. We'll go try and get you another ham. You're so sweet. No, no, we'll make do. I guess it's birthday gruel again this year, children. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Fundraising from the rich and giving to the poor. It took us three days to get that ham. Three what a ridiculous days. way yes, to make a living. Oh, I know people that can raise a whole pig in an hour. I had to sell 14 cups of that watered-down lemonade. I bought eight of them myself. Well, times are tough. And you know why times are tough? I'll tell you why. Prince John, that's why. Prince yeah, John, we're living yeah. in the yeah. well, He's a louse. We should do something about that guy. I'm sure he's not that bad. Maybe he doesn't know how much people are hurting. How could he not know? It's robbery what he's doing. Robbery, I say. Oh, for King Richard to return. Maybe. Hey. If he's robbing from the poor, why shouldn't we rob him right back? You mean pilfer from the crown? Why not? Yeah. 
Yeah, I like it. Guys, we shouldn't because it's wrong to steal. Robin Good and his merry men, robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. Forget fundraising, man. It's only logical. The robbers of the royals. Oh, it's so much poetic justice. Well, I'm not robbing from anyone. Maybe if it were Bill Scarlet and his merry men, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Huh? If you're not vegetable enough to fight the man, then we will. Come on, merry men. Are you guys with me? Absolutely. Absolutely. You're the mayor. We got your back, Bill. Count me in. Mutiny is fun. This is terrible. God. What am I supposed to do? I'm all alone. In the forest. With giants. Big Red? Is that you? I'm collecting firewood. Say, where are your merry men? They're not my merry men anymore. They left. They left you? Oh, I'm so sorry. That must really hurt. Yeah, it sure does. Miss Lewis, you said earlier that no hurt is too big for God. Does losing your friends count? Sire, that's a mighty big hurt indeed. A very wise king, even wiser than our King Richard once said, give all your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. But how do I do that? How do I give my burdens to God? Tell him your heart is hurting. Tell him you're feeling blue. You can't make it yourself and you need his help to comfort and see you through. He'll care for you, he'll care for you. He loves you and he's always there for you. His burden is light, his promise is true. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. We can't hear ye! Look at all these people. Now's my chance. Excuse me. I'm fundraising for the poor, and I was wondering if you... Can I sign you up for the Celebrity Golf Scramble ne ne next Saturday? Lemonade? Har har snicker ha. Can you hear you now? You're good. Welcome all to the archery demonstration. Who's the best at archery? Prince John. Who's brave and most handsome? Prince John. Who's the only one who can protect us against giants? King Richard! <laughs> that, that's right, Prince John. Let's give him a ham, a Bethlehem ham. 
Thank you! Oh, thank you, people of Betteringham. I am grateful for your delicious entrees, as you are certainly grateful that I can keep all those giants away. Make a wonderful king. No! supposed to make me look good. Why'd you let that happen? I, I, I don't know. To the dungeon with you. The dungeon of despair. No, no, no. <laughs> Who is that guy anyway? He was handing out hams yesterday. Uh, that's all I know. <gasps> handing out hams? That sounds fishy. I hope you took them. Yeah, I did. Good. Did you see that? He saved those children! He's amazing! Sheriff, we need to keep an eye on this troublemaker. Invite him back to the castle for dinner. He'll be my guest. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Oh, hi, Sheriff. Sorry, I'm fresh out of ham. Look, I was just doing my job. I don't always agree with the prince. In fact, hardly anyone agrees with the prince. But if you don't do what he says, he'll throw you in the dungeon. Huh? Or worse yet, the dungeon of despair. Is that like the regular dungeon, but with more despair? Oh, the dungeon of despair is a terrible place. It takes away all your hope and there's no way out. Anyway, the prince has asked that you be his guest tonight for dinner. Dinner? Really? That's great. I wouldn't be so excited. I've been wanting to talk to him. There's some things I think he needs to know about the hams. Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Uh... Robin. And do you have a last name, Robin? Yeah, it's good. I believe you. I I'm sure it's great. No, it's not great. It's good. <sighs> That's nothing to be ashamed of. My last name is sort of mediocre. I told you, Sheriff Mediocre. It's good. My last name is good. Then why won't you tell me? Tell you what? What your last name is. It's good. Robin Good. <gasps> oh. <laughs> nice to meet you, Robin Good. This is no good. <laughs> the wood is wet, and we have no more matches. No matter. We have nothing to cook anyway. And I'm hungry. Huh. Me too, mon ami. So what kind of a crazy plan was this? To starve in the forest? Give me time. We were supposed to rob from the royals. We haven't seen a blue blood all day. No wonder. The royal family does not live in Sherwood Forest. Only we live here. Well, what do you suggest, Mr. Smarty Pants? I don't know. Perhaps look for a place the prince might hang out? Um, how about that castle over there? Boys, I got a plan! Wow, is, is this table made out of mahogany? Nice. Looks heavy. Hmm. Is that basil I smell? Love basil. Would you like some? Well, now that you mention it, well, I you think I... can't have it. There's not enough. Seems there's somebody who's been giving away my hams to the poor. So funny you should mention that, Prince. I've been wanting to talk to you about the hams. You see, the people of Bethlehem were in great need. 
Despite what you'd expect from a town named Bethlingham, there's really not much ham at all. Excuse me? I've put together a little presentation. As this slide shows, ham per capita is way below the national average. In fact, only crushing ham ranked lower in this survey. Here you can see that charitable giving is way down this year, leaving few options for those seeking respite. Respite? Res respite? Respite? You know, this might make more sense if I say it another way. Or should I say, sing it another way? There's no eraser here today, sir, that can rid your town of hunger. But there is one clear decision that'll bring them out from under. The true solution is an obvious path. You've got lots of food and they don't do the math. What you gonna do, Prince? Hey! Give a ham to everybody. Give a ham to everyone. A helping hand to each and every. Everybody with a ham is better than one. Ham. Brother Good, I don't believe I'm getting through to you. Oh, I would never dare ever attempt to share. I'm keeping and making my bacon for my own taste buds. Yes, I have earned the right. This honey baked swine is mine. Every morsel and rib divine. How could I waste one? As the reigning prince of Bethlehem, I'm praised for what I praised and shout down. So better watch out, I'm the man. Understand the prince of ham I this little piggy's on the table, this little piggy's for lunch. This little piggy's gonna be a snack on a cracker later for me to munch. This one is shaped just like Stonehenge, this one's from my Valentine. This one and that one and these ones and those ones are mine. Oh, mine! <laughs> just another moment more. I hope you won't ignore the need is real indeed. Your people are hungry. You have so much to give. Yes, you could change the way they live. How could you ever eat every nibble and kibble yourself anyway? Just watch me. I know you're in a jam, but I will help you, man. This pork belongs to me and not to Bethlehem. Oh, but it's such a tiny part. This is my command. I won't even notice what you I'm not a fan please, of your please. plan. Understand oh, the Prince of Ham. I One little smidge and a morsel, an inch of a nugget, or portion of some of a four-mentioned ham. Ham! You stole my ham! What? That's ridiculous. I don't steal. Stealing's wrong. You stole my ham. No. You pinched my pork chops. You don't you boosted understand. my bacon. I'm as confused you as you are. You swiped my short ribs. Sheriff, arrest this cucumber and throw him in the dungeon of despair. No. And throw away the key. Show your face in Bethlehem again, I'll put it in the dungeon of despair. Your face, I mean. And the rest of you, too. And as for you. That was perfect! We're bringing home the bacon! It was splendid! Uproarious! A madcap problem! Think of all the good we can do with these stolen hands! I know. Uh oh. What have we here? Now I've lost everything. My friends, my fundraising. I can't even go back to Bethlehem. Robin? Miss Lewis? Wow, you're everywhere. Gotta go where the firewood takes me. Why, only last week I found myself picking twigs in Tottenham Square. Little Nate got stuck in a cotton candy machine. Me boy, your face is as long as a boring sermon. Still not doing so well. Nope. 
Maybe Bill was right. Maybe robbing from the rich was the way to go. At least then I'd still have friends. You're really so sure stealing would make things better? Well, they want to arrest me for not stealing. So what's the difference? The, the prince has a dungeon cell with my name on it. Well, you'd have good company. What do you mean? The sheriff. The prince threw him in the dungeon this evening. Oh, wow. The Dungeon of Despair. The Dungeon of Despair? I think it's like the regular dungeon, only with extra despair. Oh, no. He's going to give in to that despair. Unless someone could share with him what you've been learning. Never trust a plastic hippo. The other thing. That no hurt is too big for God. Even not having any friends or being alone in the Dungeon of Despair. That's me, boy. You thought you were at the end of your rope until you found someone else at the end of his. I gotta get to the sheriff before he loses hope. Watch out for giants! And you watch out for that rock! Ow! Yep, that's the one. What a lot of little bottles. Green trees stay green all year round. <laughs> <laughs> Guys? Robin, Robin Good! Good! What are you doing here? I'm trying to find the. Wait a second. What are you doing here? Let's just say things didn't work out quite the way I planned. That's good to know. Because if you had planned this, I would be even angrier with you. Look, Robin, I'm really sorry. We never should have left you alone. We, we should have stuck by you. Through thick and thin. I know the itches. We should have listened to you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Do you know where the sheriff is? We heard the harmonica coming from that way. Why do you want to know where he is? I'm going to rescue him. What? what? Shh. I know what it feels like to be all alone. I don't want that for you guys or the sheriff. Are you guys with me? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I got to find that key. You guys wait here. What else are we going to do? <laughs> no, I'm I'm the king. <laughs> Mommy, tell them I'm the king. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sad, so very sad. What is it about this place that, that makes me so very sad? Because it's the dungeon of despair. Robin. I'd be glad to see you, but I'm in despair. Nobody likes me. I like you. You're a good man, Sheriff. And I'm gonna get you out. Aw, oh, man, the key's gone. It's no use. He locked me up and threw away the key. That was easy. Let's go. I'm so sad. I can't go. I'm hurting too much. Sheriff, there's no hurt that's too big for God. I know that your heart is hurting. I know that you're feeling blue. You can't make it yourself, and you need his help to comfort and see you through. 
He cares for you, he cares for you. He loves you and he's always there for you. His burden is light, his promise is true. He will take care of you. There's never been a hurt too big for him. God will take care of you. Come on, Shira. Let's go. We must have tripped the alarm. Not us. That's a giant alarm. There's a giant in Bethlehem. Follow me. Don't get me! So much for our brave protector. Uh, you, you're not gonna leave me here all alone, are you? Will you let my friends go? Oh, uh, yes, anything. I have an idea. I need every ham you can muster. Ham? Uh, mustard? Is this a battle plan or, or a sandwich? Some ham? Look at that! He just wanted some ham. All hail Robin Good! Robin Good for King! King Richard is your true king, but until he returns, I think the sheriff would make a wonderful guardian. Okay. Lots of fundraising ideas. For the kids. For the kids. He cares for me, he cares for me. He loves me and he's always there for me. There's never been a hurt too big for him. God will take care of me. God will take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> 